Hi Pisces, welcome to your January Singles New Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you Pisces. So new love can be for me. Maybe someone you've known and never, be, never been romantically involved with them. Someone you're just dating, getting to know. Uh, somebody maybe you're crushing on or someone's crushing on you. Or someone totally new. So we're going to see what's going on here for you for Pisces. Singles. And new love for January. All right. Okay. Wow. Let's like we'll take this one. All right. Pisces. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Happy New Year. All right. Let's see what we have for you. So we have the Five of Cups energy here. Change your focus. Okay, let's get them all out here and we'll see what's going on. We've got the Seven of Wands. Choose your battles. I'm getting a very closed off defensive energy um, so far. Let's see. Oops, I don't do reversals with these. The Four of, this is the Four of Wands, I believe. And the, this is the, um, hangman i believe or is that the hermit i think that's the hermit so i kind of feel like here um yeah this is the hermit yeah i'm getting a very now i'm really going to be looking at your energy first and then we're going to look at the energy around you what's coming in for you or is this, is this somebody new or not or whatever the case may be it's not about any nasty exes or anything like that as the title says thumbnail says it's singles new love so if you're associating it to someone nasty from the past i mean they don't have to be nasty but you don't want nothing to do with that then it's probably not your reading you know whatever shows up here but anyway i'm getting um a very disheartened energy closed off energy walls up here and it's saying to open up hermit is about going within doing that in the inner journey work introspection healing finding the wisdom and things and the lessons and the blessings and opening up energy in a whole new way so this could be you you know pisces or maybe it's someone around you but this is about new love so we'll see all right pisces sun moon rising venus male or female general collective rating Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. I guess um, I guess you could flip it, switch it. If you know you're crushing on someone, someone's crushing on you, perhaps. So cross watchers as well. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on here. Let's look at. I'm gonna look at your energy first and see is this your energy? Maybe in the past it was your energy. Let's see, Pisces. Five of Cups. I can't make that up. I can't. Five of Cups, first card out, first card out. Disappointment. Wow. The Lovers. Okay. The King of Cups. That's you, Pisces. Male, female, don't matter. Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups. Okay, so pretty cut and dry here, Pisces. I feel like you kind of fell for somebody here, but you were disappointed. Um because the Queen of Wands could have been, you know, male or female, it doesn't matter, could have been someone who was, you know, yes, very hot, fiery, passionate, but they in and out, in and out, inconsistent, or they weren't uh, committal or anything like that, and Eight of Cups here, so somebody definitely uh, walked away. No, it could have been you, or it could have been them, maybe they walked away, but there's a lot of disappointment um, about a soulmate connection or someone that you actually fell in love with, and I feel like it was in the past, so we do have Aries showing up here. That's you, Pisces, Gemini, as well. We have Virgo up there with the Hermit as well. Let's see. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Very stressful, stressed out energy here about this. Nine of Cups in reverse, which means your wish didn't come true here. Seven of Pentacles. Feeling like it was wasted time. It was wasted energy and effort as well. But the Five of Wands in reverse, I think, you know, you just turned your back, walked away, and you gave up. The conflict here but we have the three of cups with temperance which means you know maybe courting dating getting, getting to know somebody new here with the three of cups because we do have a soulmate energy here with temperance so it could be someone already in your social circles community 
uh, friends of family. But there is a soulmate here. So we have Sag showing up as well. All right, so I definitely feel like here, Pisces, you walked away from someone, or maybe perhaps they walked away from you, you walked away from them. Very, yes, very hot, fiery passion, but not, either they didn't want a relationship or they were not committal or player or whatever the case may be. And you feel like it was just wasted time and energy with this person. Very disappointing. So there may be some things regarding that that still need to be healed. Seven of Wands, you know, it says choose your battles, but that can be, you know, having a wall up, being defensive, walled off. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. I, but though you still dream of having that long-lasting type of connection, Ten of Pentacles can be that. And the sign, and have your ha happily ever after, your happy outcome. Three of Cups. Yeah, something about, you know, maybe dating other people. King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Let's see. And death, rebirth. So we have Scorpio, Gemini, Leo showing up here. I still feel like you're still hopeful, wishful, dreaming of that happily ever after, like I said. But definitely, I mean, you can't get it if you're not putting yourself out there. King of Swords in Reverse, it's, I feel like you're not uh, seeing it clearly or you're not, um, definitely not taking action right now, probably. And it's, and it's like you're not seeing it clearly. You're not, you're not having that clarity, peace of mind to know, yes, I'm worthy and yes, this can come in for me and I believe in it and putting that manifesting energy out into the universe. So there has to be something here about letting go with death here. Letting go. Did I say um, judgment? That's not judgment. That's death. So it's about letting go of what happened here. Healing, forgiving, releasing, whatever you need to do here. Endings, new beginnings, transition, transition, transformation. That is for sure. So new beginning here. And the sun is the ultimate happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, growth, expansion, healing. So we have uh, Scorpio and Leo showing up. Empress, as I said, knowing your value and worth here, that you are worthy of a sincere offer here, Page of Cups, single, independent, you know, being, we have two cards here, pre-Empress, Empress, and a sincere offer in between that. So, yeah, there's that Ten of Swords, the ending, that it's done, and Judgment in Reverse, so there may be some fragments here that uh, you're having a hard time letting go of, or forgiving and releasing, so you may need to look at that. If you're like, well, that's not me, well, you know, take what resonates um, as well. So we have Libra Taurus, we have Pisces, Scorpio, the Judgment in Reverse. All right, Pisces, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist, actually your playlist for both channels and list of readings I do on both channels. If you didn't know, I have another channel. It's a small one. I do more generalized kind of readings over there if you'd like to check it out. Monthlies are out now. Uh, spirit messages are already out. And I did do a spiritual guidance reading, which is a little bit different. And it gives you all kind of tools, resources to work with for the month. January is out. So we get an archangel, a crystal, chakra, uh, affirmation. Uh, what else do I pull? Numbers, all kinds of stuff. And it was a tower reading in there as well. So it was a lot of fun, a little bit different. So if you want to check that out. Five of Swords, feeling defeated. Feeling defeated. But I, I want to know what's coming in for you. King of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> I'm also feeling like Pisces, some of you may be self sabotaging yourself by kind of boxing. Now we've got three kings here. Now the king of cups is Pisces for me, but it can be male or female, but we have three kings here. So I feel like you're kind of boxing, every, not everyone, but you know, oh, they're all the same because of this person from the past. Because we, we're getting the kings in reverse, so that's kind of what I'm feeling. Three of pentacles, but it's about growth, expansion. Eight of Swords. Yeah, stuck mentality here, I feel. Strength. But you can overcome this. Strong, courageous, brave, willpower, determination. This can overcome anything. Overcoming 
maybe a mentality about, you know, well, they're all the same, kind of boxing them all in. I'm, I'm feeling like here, you know, you, deep down you're still seeking something, and there possibly is something out there seeking you, seeking, seeking the same thing as well. So it's like whatever you are seeking is seeking you kind of energy, if you know what I mean. So we do have Virgo Leo showing up. I want to get into the new energy. Yeah, there's that Nine of Swords again. Nine of Swords and Knight of Swords. Something could be happening quickly here. With this Knight of Swords. That's Aquarius season is coming up pretty soon here. So, and you could have a very strong connection coming in as well with the Strength card. Which could have an opportunity to grow and expand here with Three of Pentacles. So, Pisces, let's see... Let's see what is coming in for you, Pisces, about changing your focus. Don't battle yourself. <laughs> Don't battle everybody. Don't battle, you know, opening up to new energy, doing that inner journey work that you maybe need to do here, introspection. So what is coming in for Pisces? What is coming in for Pisces? Five of Wands in reverse, which is good. Nine of Swords. Page of Wands. I'm sort of offer something exciting. Temperance, a soulmate. And the Two of Swords. So I kind of see um, indecisive about decisiveness about this. But it's telling you not to cause yourself to have your own inner conflict for no reason, reason by stressing yourself out. Page of Wands is some sort of offer coming in here. Exciting, fresh, new um, offer of some kind. And Temperance is a soulmate energy, divine alchemy, something meant to be. Patience, healing, balance, uh, peace, harmony, joy. Could be a past life connection. But you may be a little indecisive about this. Magician, so something definitely is manifesting. All right, so I want to see here... What is manifesting? A new beginning right here. And I felt that. Something new. We have Sag showing up. Two cards of Sag. Gemini Virgo. Okay. And we have a King of Wands upright. We have all four kings on the table. This is an emperor. Eight of Pentacles. Someone who will put the work in. Who will not be afraid to do that. And it may be somebody. I mean we have the King Queen of Wands. Which is a match. Which is a couple here. Now don't. Stress yourself out if you're like, well, this person is hot, fiery, passionate like the past person. So, well, they're just the same as the past. No. Because <laughs> I do hear, see here somebody who will put in the time, energy, and effort. Seven of Pentacles. You're afraid of wasting your time again. That's what I feel like here, Pisces. Let's see. What else here for Pisces? Someone who's ready to manifest a new relationship high priestess in reverse you may not be trusting your intuition that high priestess in reverse but something definitely is coming in here and it's telling you to be communicative as well because the high priestess in reverse can be very reserved uh keeps everything to herself so it's telling you to not be so reserved to be open to communication as well devil yeah there's that fear stress worry anxiety but it's telling you to take a leap of faith here but see you're worried about getting your heart broken again the three of swords but we have the ten of cups happiness joy fulfillment in every single way in the world so definitely a new cycle is about to begin for you the old is done let it go let it be leave it in the past there's a new cycle coming in could be something about traveling or distance or maybe someone you meet on the internet you know, World Wide Web. This is the World card. Could be online communication as well. We have the Page of Swords. Doesn't have to be, but justice. It's getting what you deserve. Truth, clarity, justice, balance. Universal law and order. A soul contract. Something meant to be. Hangman. Somebody who won't keep you hanging. Who will, you know, take action. Not like the past. So let's see. We have Pisces. That's you. Libra. Aquarius. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn. We are Capricorn season right now. So you could be meeting this person online, social uh, groups, networking, 
a friend of a friend or something like that. But Pisces, being I feel like being open to this, don't feel like you're going to waste your time again. Um, I see someone here that can be very successful, a business owner, entrepreneur, a leader with this King of Wands. By the way, that's Leo Energy, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Because we got fire, fire. This person is a great manifester too, who will put in the work and invest in this. It says failure, but I think that you're afraid of failure. Again, because that's what you've experienced in the past, is what I feel. All right, so Pisces, let's see what else we need to know. Like I said, Pisces, um, everything you need is below. My other channel playlist and list of readings for both channels is down there as well. All right, you need to check out the new readings. I'll probably have links here, cards to check out as well if you'd like to check out the other channel. All right, what else do we have for Pisces? love and acceptance love is yours recognize your divine worth choose loving thoughts exactly that's kind of what i've been saying for this whole reading that's given me sun vibes which is right there keep hope and love alive because it's coming in psychic insight your third eye is open see the truth for what it is follow your intuition and i felt here that you weren't really following your intuition with the High Priestess in Reverse, but it's telling you definitely to trust that energy. What else here for Pisces? Life Force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Well now, Pisces. I'm getting a little fun, fun, sexy time. I don't know what I'm saying. And we have Kuan Yin. Care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. <laughs> You're getting ready to meet somebody here who is very, um, they can be very psychic as well, um, who kind of is a life for life for someone who is very productive, leadership kind of energy as well. Kind of powerful, but in a good way. Very caring and compassionate, loving and accepting. They can be very psychic and in, um, intuitive as well. So trust your intuition, and I, I would think give this one a chance. And uh, something about meeting them online, maybe, or maybe a friend of you of yours online friend may say, oh, I know somebody, or something like that, or maybe you'll start out talking online. Uh, definitely either something around Capricorn season, which we are in right now, and we did have um, a lot of Aquarius show up, which is coming up the end of the month. So I feel like within the next month, perhaps, because we do have a one right here. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Hope that helped that resonate again. Everything's below. Wishing you the best. Happy New Year. And I shall see you next time.